You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so, Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. And there's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four. Morant is out there with Jay, and it's Brooks in at the three. Takes the three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Outside Durant. On the top of the key. The rebound by Steven Adams. Memphis has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Jay. Bangs home the trifecta. Jay's got to get a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Grizzlies. The Nets still looking like they're getting going. Six-point game. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Here's Brooks following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Brooks. O'Neal with the rebound. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Well, KD still a net after asking for a trade. The, the team looked but didn't feel a deal was there. And Durant will continue to play. But you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline or beyond. Defensively, you want to stop Morant's penetration. He knows that, and he settles for the mid-range pop. Now the pass to Irving. Out left to the wing. O'Neal misses. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Brooks kicks to Jackson. Back to Brooks over O'Neal. And it's Brooks that time on the assist by Jackson. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to catch up with that Nets head coach. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration, challenge the lobs at the basket, and generally make it difficult to get to the front of the rim. You don't want this to turn into a dunk fest because that will not end in their favor. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, they've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Durant. And the Nets miss again. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. O'Neal against Brooks. Over O'Neal. Again, Memphis. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And Simmons slams it in. We don't talk about KD's KD. passing enough. Durant is an elite playmaker. Morant passes to Brooks. Quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Morant with it. Eight points his last outing. Just three to shoot from past the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. On the wing, Irving. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got three assists now in this one. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Now here's Brooks. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Dylan Brooks seems like a very spirited player, Smitty. He plays with a lot of emotion. I've heard coaches say he's the team's biggest cheerleader. Whether that's game time or practice, Kevin, he loves to motivate his squad to be at their best. The 
first free throw is good. There's a terrific intensity to Dylan Brooks's game. He doesn't hold back and exploits any weaknesses he can. Warren's checked in for the Nets. And both free throws good for Brooks. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. On the wing, Irving. No one near him. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Morant scanning the floor. Let's it go from 11, and he gets the jumper to drop. Morant's got seven. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Yeah, easy call. First personal foul. First team. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Gotta oh, admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Shooting two. And he makes the first. If you're looking for entertainment, you've come to the right place. Kyrie puts on a show every night. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Memphis leading by eight. Here's Moran. Love it, love it. As creative as they come, John Moran has a style that's specifically his. A shot's good from Irving. He's got 11. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the net. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. Defensively, they have had their sights set on Kevin Durant, and they've done a terrific job holding him in check. And don't go away. We'll be right back. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies what do you guys think boy that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync terrific first quarter this is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach your team starting fast and playing with confidence so on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four Jay out there with Moran. And it's Bain in at the three spot. There is so much young talent, Steve, in today's NBA. That being said, whose game should an up-and-coming player try to emulate? For me, Kevin, for the 25 and under crowd, the guys I love, Luka Doncic, unbelievable. John ja Moran, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, and it's a whole slew of others. Now, Moran following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. And Nicholas Claxton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Bain against Warren. Adams trying to free himself up. And this is something Durant has really improved over the years. A talented defender who can now guard multiple positions. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. And 
part of the Grizzlies' breakout 21-22 campaign, the emergence of Jaron Jackson Jr. Triple J GA missed most of the 2021 season with a knee injury he sustained in the bubble. When he was back at 100% for the Grizz, he provided serious rim protection, plus the ability to hit a three. I now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. KD says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us along this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. Great. David, thank you. That one from long range. Three. Baines got five points now this quarter. Wow, what range from Baines. The Nets working the ball around now. Irving's shot is good. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Simmons against Morant. Adams taking his time here. Just five to shoot. Fires for three. Memphis keeping it alive with a new 14. John and that Morant. one's good. Morant. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. To the middle. That one's good. And the Grizzly lead is back down to 13 after the bucket is good from Irving. On offense, Kyrie Irving is so crafty. He keeps finding ways to get around the deep. Second quarter. Outside, Bain. But three. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all, but Greg, a first round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. And here's Jackson following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Simmons with it. He's picked up by Morant. The offensive rebound. Outside for Simmons. Outside Warren. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. And Brooklyn making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. Then for the Grizzlies. Brooks checked in for Desmond Bain. And Jones subbed in for John Morant. Here's Jay. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. A 10-footer. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got 22 points. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Jones against Simmons. Pass to Brooks. Pocket six. Plays it up and banks it in. Brooks, Brooks has got eight. Muscling his way around the floor. Brooks able to absorb contact without it affecting the shot. And so it's Memphis riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this.
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five. Simmons is out there with Irving, and it's O'Neal in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Jacques Vaughn getting going here in the second half. First one falls for him. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. And so Durant nails them both. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Greg, what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And he banks in the lane. Dylan Brooks. Brooks has got 10 points. Getting hit on that shot there, but Dylan's girth allows him to play right through it. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Now here's Simmons. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Here's Jay. And there's the eight second call as they can't get it across half court in time. Yeah, another turnover. But guys, on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. And the shot goes down. 15 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. O'Neal kicks to Simmons. Upside Irving. KD's shot is off. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Morant outside. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range. That one's not going to go. The Nets go the other way with it. Pass to Irving. And it's Morant with the rebound. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Wow. He got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Memphis shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. So for the Nets, Joe Harris has checked in for Durant. Curry comes in for Kyrie Irving. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Simmons. Then for the Grizzlies, Tillman, he's checked in for Adams. Clark comes in for Jackson. And it's Bain in for Morant. And both free throws good for Brooks. Nets trail by 17. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Got a piece of it. 
third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Watch two minutes to play. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. This is, and I think his coach would agree, unacceptable. One turnover in the first half, now multiple turnovers since the break. Too much. Warren's checked in for O'Neal. And Memphis also making a switch. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for Brooks. Sumner passes to Warren. Stolen. One forty-six left in the third. Wound up there for Clark. Hammers the alley through. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. The Nets have gone only one and five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Here's Sumner. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. It's good. Three. Memphis leading by 17. And here's Jones. 107 left to play in the third. Bucket is good. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Sumner. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Good work there as it goes. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Jones, the pass to Bain. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Kicks it out to Jones. Six to shoot. They grab their own miss. Here's Clark, and it's Memphis with another one. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now here's Curry. He averages a bit over six points a game. To the paint. Here's Warren. Out to Harris. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Sumner passes to Harris. Sinks the three-pointer. Harris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And you can't give Harris any breathing room to shoot, especially when he's looking to fire the three ball. Fell through three quarters of play. Down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Grizzlies leads by 16. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So the Grizzlies five right now. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. Jay out there with John Morant, and it's Adams in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Jay. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. basketball. Irving passes it to Simmons back to Irving a three ball hits it from three point range Irving's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Brooklyn yeah that's a great shot third three of the game for him first in this half Morant against Simmons Morant dishes to Brooks And Memphis turns it over again. Basketball. 
Jets trail by 13. Here's Irving. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists tonight. A masterful finisher. The closer Kyrie is to the bucket, the more dangerous he becomes. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. There is no let up in this man. He is doing everything in his power to keep this game close. Now here's Brooks. Shot clock at six. Shoots the three. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, Brooks prefers to shoot his threes head on, but he has the stroke to make the short corner shot. Right side, Irving. Durant trying to break free. Shot is good, and the Memphis leads. Get down now to just 12 on the basket from Irving. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. O'Neal against Brooks. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. The sheer power at 220, maybe 230, to take the hit and complete the play. Dylan Brooks. For Memphis. And look at Dylan how the Brooks. hustle game has been going for Memphis. The Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands causing a lot of steals. That's been all night long. And also dominating the offensive boards, and that's been winning them a lot of extra looks at the hoop. And that one falls for Brooks. And we've seen not only some new trophies in Bruce, but Greg, some of the existing ones have been updated. You okay with that? Oh, I am. In particular, a nice touch to have the previous winners etched into the base of the Larry O'Brien trophy. That's a great way to connect with the history of the game. Duran against Jackson. And there's the defensive three-second call. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving. And at the line, one time. And so he hits the technical free throw. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And Simmons kicks to O'Neal. And so it's going to be a three second violation out there on the defense. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. And the technical free throw is good. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Irving. Irving's got 11 points in the quarter. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Brooks outside. A second chance effort. And Jackson finishes inside. Boy, this is what a diverse skill set buys you. Jackson with so many options after corralling the miss. Nobody near Irving. Another one falls for Brooklyn. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. Now Morant. The pass to Brooks. Now here's Adams. Morant right side. Inside. Pocket four. And he comes up with the deuce. Brooks has got 12 points here in the second half. You can run these plays for Brooks. He's improving in the catch-and-shoot area. 
The shot by Irving. Again, the Nets for two. He is a scoring machine right now, but he needs more support from his teammates if they want to win this one. Morant passes to Brooks. 119 left to play in the final quarter. Feeds to Jackson. Morant outside. On the wing, Brooks over O'Neal. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for Memphis. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all games. And I think ultimately that earned the W. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for John Morant. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. And he knocks down the first one. And after all the drama and wanting out, Kyrie Irving remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but winning can heal all. And you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. Both free throws good for Irving. And so it's Memphis with it. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's Jay. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Three inspired tonight they fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays especially during this last run which ultimately put the game away and you gotta like that they found something positive here something that maybe carry over into the next game they put together some great possessions here at the end it's a shame they could have used this run much earlier here's jay who's back up Good, and a nice assist from Morant. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Substitutions on the court. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth, and it's sharp missing. Here's Jay. He's covered by Irving. And the basket by Jay. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't see you at home for you to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Yo, nice work at the press conference, man. You think so? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you handled it beautifully. Nate White has a way of getting under people's skin, but you remained calm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Uh, Mila, what you think? Uh, I think you played it like a modern-day Richard Hatch. Who? Um, only the legendary winner of the very first season of a little show called Survivor. Okay, uh, Mila here is like a survivor, you know, historian or something. Just... <laughs> It, it's the most underrated show of all time, and I'm not going to stop until it gets the respect it deserves. <laughs> no, who did? Ashley, please take over. Okay, this leak happened sooner than we would have liked, but that is okay. All it means is that we've got to double down on winning over the fans. We can't make our final push against Othella until they have your back. Mm -hmm. Why not? There's, there's a huge PR component to this, and we need to win on all fronts to give you the best possible chance at a favorable outcome. I mean, if the fans aren't on your side, then Phil Boyer most likely won't be on your side, too. Yeah. And fandom is tribal. If you're not part of the tribe, it doesn't matter how right you are. Oh, the tribe God. will speak. And then it'll extinguish your torch with a hollowed-out coconut that's attached a, to a that's stick. That's not a survivor reference. Yeah, I think I guys. caught that one. Too yeah. far. Okay, anyway, um, continuing with the fans sounds fine, but I'm going to need some direction. Where should I focus? Look, Uncle Bobby's the key. 
of all the people we've singled out, mm-hmm. he holds the most sway, not only with the fans, but with the organization. Mm-hmm. Now, he sponsored a ton of their camps, paid for in-game advertising, held events with their players. If Bobby is on your side, we'll be ready to move to phase two. Oh, you mean phase three? No, 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 phase two. Phase one was the John Luck interview. Okay, and Bobby was phase two. So phase three is whatever comes next. It doesn't matter what phase it is. Just, just focus on Bobby, all right? Do you need to go over our plan for him again? No, 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 no. You guys uh, laid it out pretty well for me. All right, then it's settled. Once we got Bobby in our pocket, we'll launch our final offensive. Nope. Shock and awe, baby. No, I told you, there are no military references. They don't play well. Look, you got to just lighten up, Ashley. Come on.